So let's take a look at some questions about the probability of drawing certain things from a 52 card deck. And these questions are all about the probability of things happening if you draw a single card from a full 52 card deck of cards. <laughs> um, these are coming from section 11.6 and I'm looking at numbers 17 through 21, the odds. Um, but before I get too far into it, because we're talking about probability and I want to make sure we understand what we're looking for, um, what we're looking for, the probability of something happening, the probability of an event happening, P of E, that equals the number of successes, C, 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 E, S, S, E, S, spelling not my strong suit, but I think I got that one. Uh, and that's over the number in the sample space. Also, fitting things onto a piece of paper. You can see I'm really great at centering. <laughs> okay, so that's the formula for probability. Um, so when we're talking about the probability of selecting things from a deck of cards, well, the number of successes are the number of ways to draw a two or a three, and the sample space is that full deck of cards, so 52. So in this case, we're looking for equals we're looking for something and we know that 52 is going to be in the bottom because that's our sample space we're using that whole deck of cards so 52 is our sample space so what are the number of successes here let me get this up from underneath well how many ways are there to draw a two from a 52 card deck there are four twos in that 52 card deck you've got your four of hearts, your four of diamonds, your four of clubs, and your four of spades. So there are four ways to draw a two. How many ways are there to draw a three? Well, there are four ways to draw a three. You have the four of hearts, four of diamonds, four of clubs, four of spades. So there's four ways to draw a two, four ways to draw a three. We add those together. That gives us eight over 52. And if you wanted to simplify that, you could. That simplifies to two over 13. But you don't have to simplify it. Either of those answers will work. And honestly, this one tells me that you knew what you were looking at. Okay? So let's try the next one. Um, we know, again, we're dealing with the entire deck of cards. We're not eliminating anything from the deck of cards. So we know this is going to be over 52. I'll go ahead and put that over 52 there. Alright, how many red twos are there in the deck of cards? Well, there are two red twos. There's the two of hearts and the two of diamonds. How many black threes are there? Two black threes. There's the black of, cl black of clubs, <laughs> there's the three of clubs, and the three of spades. So you have two red twos, two black threes, add them together. Those are four successes. Those are four things that could happen that would be successful outcomes out of that sample space. So we get 4 over 52, which is the same as 1 over 13. Okay? So either of those two answers is acceptable. Um, you do not, do not need to feel like you need to reduce those fractions if you don't want to. Okay? So finally, what is the probability of selecting the 2 of hearts or the 3 of spades from a 52 card deck? Well, again, we know because we're working with the whole deck that we're going to be over 52, right? Okay, so we just need to figure out what our successes are. How many successes? Well, how many two of hearts are there in a deck of cards? There's only one two of hearts in that deck of cards. There are no more unless you've got a really bad deck of cards or somebody's trying to cheat you. And um, the same thing goes for the three of spades. There's only one three of spades in every standard 52 card deck of cards. So we have 1 plus 1, that's 2 out of 52. You could simplify it to 1 out of 26. I'll put those over here so that we don't get that confused with that 1. Um, so basically, just what you need to remember here is that you're looking at the number of things that count as successes. In this case, we were saying that drawing a 2 or drawing a 3 would be a success. So how many ways are there to draw a 2? 4. How many ways to draw a 3? 4. So 4 plus 4, that's how many successes we have in that deck of cards. So 4 plus 4 is 8. 
8 goes on top. How many are in the sample space? The number in the sample space? Well, that's the entire deck of cards, all 52 cards. So you get 8 over 52. And I urge you to try the even questions for this. Give a look at uh, 8, 20, and 22 and see if you can figure those out. If not, um, shoot me an email and I will do my best to help you through it.